Hi guys, Master Sending here. How are you all doing? So today we are going to play a little bit of Disney Heroes. So, what is Disney Heroes? Right, let's uh, let's check out some of the battles. So I'm going to use Hades. I mean, Hades is a very good tank. He, uh, you know, he takes a lot of damage. Then I've got Wally, Woody, Mr. Incredible, and Penelope. So let's watch this battle. They're not really standing in the chance, are they? I'm saving up my specials just because they do some considerable damage and these guys with the bats they are literally uh, they're resistant to all physical attacks so look at your characters and any attack that has a couple of little stars in the corner um, they're weak against now people like Elastigirl is really good against them um, but anyone that uses physical attacks not so good. They literally resist it all. So make sure that you've always got, especially doing campaign, always got at least someone who's got attacks that has little stars next to them. So when you look at skills, you'll see it in the box. There will literally be, I think, three little stars in the corner. Make sure you check that out. They are um, non-physical attacks, so they are literally resistant to physical attacks. There we go, we did it. It is a game on iOS and Android at the moment. Um, so, it is a action RPG where you fight as Disney and Pixar characters. There's a lot of characters included and many more to follow. So at the moment, you've got the likes of Racket Ralph, you've got Elsa, you've got a lot of the incredible heroes, as well as you've got Peter Pan. You've also got the likes of Scar from The Lion King, you can get Simba and Nala. They're all available. Really, really fun game. If you've played anything like, I don't know, the Star Wars game or Strike Force, Marvel Strike Force, it's very similar. So basically, you collect shards, and once you've got enough shards, now it could be 10, could be 30, could be 80, you unlock the character. You collect the shards through doing elite campaigns or through um, basically buying them with gold comes up in like the market or one of the other stores you have many other stores as well you have your um, chest you can open that may have a shard in it and then what you do is you collect equipment by doing the campaign you get different types of equipment sometimes you only need one to uh, uh, they're actually called badges but you may need one badge to connect to your character and they have a total of six and when you first get a character, they will start as white. And then you upgrade them, and they will move from white to green. And how you upgrade is by collecting six badges, and then you promote them. And then you go from white to green, green to blue, blue to purple. But in between, you have white one, green one and two, blue one and two, purple. I've only got my characters to just purple, purple zero. So I can tell you how far they go or what colour comes next. Anyway, let's check out the game and um, I'll give you some insight into it. I've been playing it only about a month now. I thought I'd wait until I understood the game a little bit better before I uploaded a video on it. Okay, it's just a selection of all my other guys for you to have a look at. The uh, Dash is my weakest guy, but it won't be long before I level him up. I, I just need 20 of these little spider things to create one badge. Quite a lot. Now, Peter Pan special is really overpowered. I'll, sh I'll show you it in a minute. Here we go. Now, he does like a little slicey sword dashy thing. Look, what's this? Violet does not stand in charge. From full health, literally kills her. Okay, they're probably like level 36 or something that I'm fighting against. I'm probably, you know, overpowered for these levels, but you saw how easy he can do some damage. Olaf just throws them. Um, 
Big fan. Tickle him with his dagger. There we go. One of them. Right, so, as I said, Disney Heroes is available on Android and iOS. I am currently playing on my Samsung Galaxy on Android. Right then. So, as you can see, graphics are pretty good. But don't worry, you'll be able to see as we get in. Let's talk about some of the game mechanics. So when you start off, you will unlock only a few characters. You'll get Elastigirl, you'll get Vanellope, you'll get Racket, Ralph and Frozone. What do you do? Well, so you take your characters and um, you battle with him, basically. I will show you a couple of battles. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit higher. I'm on Chapter 6. My guys are all sort of purple zero, except for one who, uh, I think, who is Dash, who's um, blue too. So how it works is basically when you first unlock a character by collecting the shards. Now you can collect them through the stores. There's many stores from arena stores to coliseum stores to guild chest, the black market that you unlock later on as you get higher level. There's many stores and you can buy them with gold. Some of them requires diamonds, which is the in-game currency. There are microtransactions in this game and yes, they're a little bit expensive. So be careful if your kids are playing this because you know, they, they can spend fortunes on just a couple of shards. You know, to unlock one character could cost you as much as £20. I would say just grind, you will get there. I've been playing for 27 days, 26 days, and literally I have got probably about 17 characters, 15, 17 characters, and they're all uh, round about sort of purple, so they're all quite strong as well, and I can compete against a lot of stuff in the game. So anyway, going back to what I was saying, so you start off with them characters, they start off white, and they all start off at one star, so basically when you unlock a character, if it needs 10 shards, it's a one star character, if it needs 30 shards, it's a two star character, and if it needs 80 shards, it starts as a three star character, three obviously being your most powerful, but I believe it can go all the way up to six, you just have to collect enough shards and keep unlocking the next version of him and, and it just increased their stats upon doing that whereas a three star purple could literally wipe out an entire team quite easily without losing any health it can actually be a pain especially when you come in arena or coliseum and they've got scar scar in my opinion is overpowered when you unlock him he will always start off at three star because he needs 80 shards to unlock but in my opinion, he's overpowered. He is, he's definitely OP. He has the ability where he can go invisible, which means that you can't attack him. So you guys just stand there and look at him. And if he's the only one there, he's literally doing damage and your guys are not attacking him back. They just stand there and look at him. Anyway, so as I was saying, when you get your character, they start off as a very basic white and you can tell white by basically i will just show you on my phone so i'm going to show you what i mean by basically whites blues purples etc and the stars so let's just show you an example this one here kahoon i think her name is pronounced i don't know this character i don't know what she's from i'm sure you guys will drop comments let me know who she is and what disney or pixar film she's from she starts off white now what you then do is you go there, you go to items, see I've already leveled her up to level 50, okay, you go to items, you click on here, and you go equipped, you go and go equipped, and equipped, and you keep doing this, keep building her up, then when you go promote, you go yes, and she's now green, so you go from white to green. Now, you keep doing it. Now, I probably could take her further if I want, but I will just show you some examples. So, basically, you keep going up. It goes white, then green, then green one, then green two, then blue, then blue one, then blue two, then purple. I've only got to purple zero, so I don't know what comes after that. So, I couldn't help you with that just yet. But, as I know, I will let you know, guys know. Now, <clears throat> the game's good at telling you, basically, what you need. So, when you go to equip, a green plus sign means that you've got the equipment, you're at the right level, so you can straight away equip it. Done. Now, let's go to Judy Hops. As you can see, she has a white arrow. You click on that. It's telling me she's at the right level. However, I haven't got the equipment or the badges, uh, the equipment to create that badge to, uh, to connect to her. Let's show you a different one. Let's go to Yaks. Now, Yax has got two yellow plus signs. What this is telling me is, yes, I've got all the ingredients to craft that badge. However, he's not at the right level in order to do it. So the game's good at telling you to help you understand what you need to do. So, where do you get these uh, these badges from, do you ask? Well, 
It's all in campaign. So you go to campaign. I am on chapter six, so I will show you. But you, you'll start from level one. And if I click on this one, it tells me that I can get a glass slipper. I could get a fairy lantern bit. Or I could get a gigantic peach bit. I thought that was an orange, but it's a peach. And then it tells you who needs it. So Jack-Jack needs this item for crafting. Peter Pan needs it. Wally needs it. And three others need it. It tells you how many you need before they can use it. So I have four out of five. So once I get five, one of them will be able to unlock. Some of them might require two of them. So you'll need to collect ten of them uh, little bits. And then once you've got enough, you then can go back to your roster. And then you can like, go, oh look, green plus, and equipped. And then you just keep equipped him. This one you got to pay free, but then you can equip it. So you got to craft that, and it costs free gold, and equip that. And then I promote. And look, now she's green plus one. So that is the understanding of the characters. So let's talk about how do you get characters. Well, there are a few ways to get them. So I will show you this way. But if you go to market, you can buy BOGO for 80 diamonds. Now, diamonds in this game are the in-game currency. Yes, there's microtransactions. When wouldn't there be in a game like this? So, you know, be careful, obviously, because some of these games are expensive. Now, if I look, I can buy some of these things. However, I don't need any of them. And I will show you, if I find one that I need, I will show you how I know I don't need it. Unfortunately, I'm not finding any that I need. Or don't need. So this one at the bottom, this Bellwether's mug, even though I can't afford it, Wally needs it and Woody needs it. And it's got a pink exclamation mark on the right side, at the top of the right side. That tells me one of my characters need it. So I click on it and I see who? Finnick needs that one. But I don't have enough to buy that. So let's come back out. So you collect enough shards. There are a different amount of shards you need. As I said, 10 will give you a 1 star. 30 will give you a 2 star. And 80 will give you a 3 star. So if I click on him, it tells me I've got 1 out of 30. So 2 of them, which that is in that orange circle there, tells me how many I'm going to get, isn't worth it for me right now. Elsa, on the other hand, I need 50 to evolve her so she starts as a two star but to evolve her to the three star you need number 50 see that equals 80 already if I look on him he also needs 50 if I look at Jess she needs 30 actually while I'm here I'm gonna buy Jess Jess is another character that people are considering is a bit OP especially at higher levels and so and also I'm trying to buy Stitch at the moment I've already got Wally and I've got her I don't like Judy much but you know, there'll be some people out there that like it. And then you got Sally as well, and Violet. And I'm trying to buy Mike at the moment. I'm almost there. I need about another 20 shards or something like that. Maybe a little bit more. So, another way to collect character shards is if we go over to Campaign, I will show you. So, you go to Elite, and as you can see, these are the shards you can collect. So, just another selection. So, you can just basically, Chapter 1, you can't unlock... Um, chapter 1 until you've completed chapter 1 of normal so you've got to complete the chapter in order to unlock the elite one so um, as you can see I've unlocked it all the way up to 6 because uh, well actually no I think it's more that you unlock the chapter once you get to that chapter because I haven't completed chapter 6 yet but I have unlocked chapter 6 elite so as you can see you know you can win uh, collect Penelope shards with that one, you can collect Yaks ones, so you know these are another ways of collecting shards, you have to just fight the battle but just like normal if you get three stars on it you can then auto raid it which is a lot easier, each one though has a limit of three per day, you can use diamonds to um, basically reset it and you can keep doing that <clears throat> not the best idea I would just grind each day just uh, use your energy to unlock the ones you're looking for it costs 12 energies in order to do uh, the elite raids so it, it's a lot of energy and, and you would deplete it really quick you would have to use diamonds um, or you know hopefully you get more um, energy out of a chest or something like that but that would be my suggestion is just literally pick one character and just work on that through a week 
shouldn't take more than a week really to get most of them characters. They're all around about 10 and 30 shards. You haven't got any 3 stars in there. You might later on, but you haven't on the earlier ones. Right, so now let's talk about some of the other elements to this game. We're not going to go on about guild stuff in this video because it's a lot to cover. Um, we're not going to discuss the Colosseum just yet. I will cover that in my next video. Same with Arena. It's a lot to cover and we will go over it. Once you hit a certain level though, you can take your badges and you can look. And if you click on one of them like that, you can then enhance it. And to enhance it, you get these little things. You enhance it and pay gold. And now it tells me my skill's gone up by 53 and my max HP has gone up by 88. But you can keep maxing it out. This one I have maxed out maybe about 4 or 5 times. My armor is 212 plus 212. Reality is plus 212 and my tenacity is plus 4. I don't really understand what these mean in this game. But each one of them has their own set. Sort of like, you know, you can go detail of stats. So I can imagine what basic damage is. I can imagine what skill power is. Max HP, self-explanatory. Max energy. One thing I should tell you about these is each character has their preferred position. So basically, he likes to be in the back. So if you want an example of what that means, I will then go to campaign and we will go as if we're starting the match i won't start a match but so we take them all off you have one front sometimes two front two middle two back so we know frozone wants to go at the back so click on him he's there he's in the middle at the moment well let's go on him where he likes to be in the front because he's a tank type character and wally is also uh he's a middle to front type guy He's a front guy, and then if we take him, he's a sort of a middle guy. So it actually looks like that Mr. Fantastic, not Mr. Fantastic, Mr. Incredible is a middle. So you see, Frozone's now at the back. They like their certain things. So your back characters will be high damages or maybe healers. However, they're not... Um, they're, they're a bit soft, they take a bit too much damage or have lower HP, sorry my headset's falling out. So you also have trolls, all of them are locked to me now. I could reset that troll though just to show you. So when you go to yellow, it will tell you that you have to fight these guys, you go to next. But only certain category of guys are available. So I can only use these five at the moment. And I'll go fight. And I've got it on auto and speedy. So we'll just rush through this one quickly. Each character sits in either blue, red or yellow category for the trolls. And you just win stuff from it. Just let this fight finish. So there we go. And if you click on that, it tells you what characters are in yellow. But if you want to know just by your own roster, you can click on them. And then if you go to detail stat, it tells me he likes to be, he's a roll, his tank. He likes to be in the middle. And he's in the troll team blue. Now let's talk about some of these roles. A tank is someone who absorbs damage. Now he has one of the highest HP in the game. Uh, the, uh, well, out of my guys anyway. He actually has 18,663 HP. Plus he has an extra 193 from basically what I gave him on uh, his badge. So, we have a little look at another character. Let's see Elsa. So, her role is damage. Now, she emits a huge amount of damage. Particularly if they're frozen. That's why I like to play her with Frozone. Because he freezes the entire team, she hits him with a, a really strong AoE attack. And you can kind of one hit some, some teams, at lower teams. So, position, she likes to be at the back. She's troll blue. So, the role's self-explanatory. She's a damage dealer. Should we look at Wally, maybe? His is control. Now, control will control the battlefield, so to speak. Uh, he may have stuff that can debuff the enemies. Or he may have stuff that buffs your team. Or maybe he can heal. But you know, rather than second guess, let's have a look. So, extinguisher. Wally flies through enemies with a fire extinguisher. Enemies take 323 damage over 3 seconds and have a chance to be frozen for 3 seconds. The freeze has a chance to fail on enemies higher than 20. We don't really need to know that. Solar power uses solar panels to grant allies 240 energy and blind enemies for... 
3 seconds, so that means that their attacks will fail, but it also boosts your character's special attack. So, let's look at Compactor. He, while he creates a garbage box and pushes up the closest enemy, knocking them back um, and dealing them 1,071 damage. Uh, knocking them back means that they're putting from the front line, maybe into the back line or middle to the back. Um, it just pushes them out of the way, so your heavy dealers who or tanks maybe at the front, but your stronger heavy dealer damage guys are at the back. You can't get to them until you've defeated the first ones, unless you've got someone who can maybe attack the back row. Um, but you have to take out them in kind of their order. So Wally allows you to push them back, so then you can then bring a weaker person into the front line, sort of swap them around. Should we have a look at maybe... Mm, Peter Pan. Let's go to stats. He's damaged. Well, we know what damage does, but he's so, he likes to be at fr the front. Uh, Peter Pan, in my opinion, is another one that's OP, especially with special attack. Uh, let's have a look at Woody. I think he might be control, but we'll have a look anyway. Support. So, slightly different to control. Support is all about boosting and buffing your team, maybe healing them, doing stuff like that. So, let's have a look at some of his skills. Giddy up. Woody invigorates his allies, giving them 61.7 basic damage and 100% attack speed for 5 seconds. So, he increased their attack, basically. Woody's lassos the furthest enemy, pulling them to Woody. The lasso has a chance to miss on targets higher than level 7. So basically, it take the person from the back row, someone who's a bit weaker, bring them forward, like Frozone or Elsa, just so you can really just get them out of the game, because they can make, change the game to the back row. Woody deputizes the enemy with the highest skill power, charming them to fight for him for 5 seconds. The charm has a chance to fail on enemies level 40 or higher. So, as you can see, he supports his team. He can also bring in support by using his uh, favourite dep deputy ability to change one of the enemy's characters to fight for you on your team. It's pretty good, actually. I like Woody. It's not strong enough, really, to stand up. He's a middle guy. So once the tank gets taken out or the front guy gets taken out, generally he falls quite quick, which is a shame. Right, I want to look at Yak, because Yak is, in my opinion, one of the probably my best um, characters in the way that this game requires that you have someone who can withstand damage and, you know, basically stick around for a long time. Someone like Hades is fantastic for that. You also want a bit of support, maybe someone boosting or weakening the enemies. So a control support guy is awesome. Um, but one thing you need every team needs at least one type of healer um and for me yaks is the best one because he can completely heal your entire team and sometimes to back to max health so make sure you power up yaks he ain't always going to be that good but if i show you the team i'm running at the moment i am literally running frozone and the reason why is because this skill freeze has a ch uh, sorry frozone throws ice up foes freezing them for four seconds that four seconds matter believe me shoots an icy wave at the closest enemy dealing that much damage and arctic chills blasts the closest closest enemy freezing them for eight seconds now his stay frosty can sometimes freeze the entire enemy that's why I play him with Elsa, because Elsa will do, um, like, this one, Elsa conjure, conjures, conjures, I can't even speak, conjures a blizzard, dealing 2,344 damage to all enemies. But gloves off, Elsa does 50% more damage to frozen and slowed enemies. So she's already freezing him, he's freezing him, so time hers with when Frozone does the entire freeze, you can literally one hit in a team quite easily. And then throw Olaf into the mix. Because this little guy also likes to freeze people. See, he forms a small blizzard around himself freezing nearby enemies. But I run with Frozone, Elsa, Violet. Violet is, for me, uh, irreplaceable because of her skills. So this one, she does. Violet jumps out of danger and shields her entire team, protecting them from 2306 damage for the next seven seconds she basically puts a shield up and stops them from being damaged your team from being damaged with that with yak healing as well you can shield with violet and heal your team back to fresh 
with yaks to time it right when you're playing and um, you keep your fight going a lot longer um, Violet can also become invisible any invisible characters are ignored uh, by your opponent and then she has this shield roll Violet bowls into the, her enemies with her force field enemies hits takes blah 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 but they're also knocked back right let's uh, let's check out some of the battles right so we go to campaign um, I'm on chapter 6, so we're going to start there. I'll use my favourite team, the one that we just talked about. So as you can see, Elsa, Frozone, Violet. I like Maui for my tank. He does some good damage and obviously Yax for the healer. So let's have a look and see what happens here. Now this game, um, it auto attacks. You only select their special when you build up that yellow bar at the bottom. So as you see, Violet is now just put her shield on, so everyone's got an extra blue bar at the top. And then we move on to the next one. And so all of them use their Frozone to freeze them all. And Violet used the uh, ability to knock them all back, and then she keeps that. And, uh, Maui has this attack where um, if their health is below 25% it might be, I might be wrong on that, maybe 50%, he automatically knocks them out, which is pretty cool. So these are all the items I got from it. But also, I want to show you another sort of thing. You may find some that's infected. Now when they're infected, you can't auto-raid them. If you get three stars on one of them, no, you can then auto-raid it, which is easy when collecting materials for your badges. But if they're infected, you can't auto-raid them. You have to fight them and uninfect them first. So yeah, I'm taking my strongest team here. <coughs> Get an idea of what they can really do. And then uh, maybe see if I can time it so you'll see Frozone and Elsa's ability. So next, I literally will hit them with Frozone. Let's go. Frozone. See, freeze them all, and now Elsa. See, one hit kill. One hit kill. I told you, it is a deadly combination. So now Virus is cleared which means I can now auto raid again. You also win uh, these disc shards. Not 100% sure what they're for at the moment, but um, I'm still learning the game myself. So there's other things we can talk about, but I'm gonna leave that for a future video. We could discuss, for instance, the friendship connections that some of the characters have when you hit certain levels. I'm not gonna go into it just yet. I could literally do a whole video on just friendship and how it all works. Anyway guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like. I am going to upload more of these videos because, one, I'm enjoying the game. I love Disney and who doesn't really? And you get to play as all your Disney characters. I mean, to be fair though, you never thought that you would have Olaf fighting and uh, defeating other characters like Mr. Incredible. But it, it's an enjoyable game. It's an interesting concept. Please. Hit that like button. Also, subscribe. Leave uh, some comments. Let me know what your favourite Disney character is. My personal favourite is Simba. Um, but also like, you know, Aladdin. I'm, I'm, I'm just big into my Disney. But Simba's definitely my favourite. So let me know below. Let me know what your favourite Disney character is. That would be awesome to know. Guys, leave comments. And also, if you're playing this game, add me. My name is Master Sending on the game. So feel free to add me as a friend. Also, if if you are playing this game, drop it in the comments below. If you want to leave the username, feel free and I will add you myself. Also, drop comments and I'll give you a shout out, particularly if you're playing this game. So, I would like to give a shout out to uh, someone that I met on this game. Panda Girl, if you're watching this, Thank you very much. I said I'd give you a shout out and here it is. If anyone else wants a shout out, please, as I said, drop your game name in the comments below and um, and I'll give you a shout out. I don't mind how many it is. I'll spend a whole video shouting you all out if I have to. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed my video and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.